and welcome back to Andy for unboxing. Take two of this one. As soon as you went, three, two, one, go. Oh, fuck. Not ready for that. Anyway, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Um, today, I've had this box for two days. It's the 3rd of June, 24, and this came on the 1st of June. Now, does anyone remember that? It's the 4th, by the way. Oh, okay. It's the 4th of June. So when did this turn up? Saturday. Saturday it turned up, yeah. So it turned up on the 1st of June. So I've had it for a couple of days. Um, do you remember that, that crap company, Snackverse? Nah, they're not crap. Snack Surprise were crap. Snackverse, absolutely awesome. June box arrived on the 1st. All right, so there it is. In the back of the proper packaging as well. Um, although we didn't really have any issue with the old packaging, did we? So, are we gonna guess where it's from? Italy. Italy. I get that. Have we, have we, when, we have now? Did we have Germany recently? No, we have They're mainly Portugal. European countries. We did have we Portugal. Portugal. And, and then, then we, we went to Portugal. Portugal. And then we had... I just booked a holiday to Spain. Do you reckon Spain again? No. Okay. They couldn't do that. They let's, wouldn't do that. Let's find out. Dun, dun, dun. Bulgaria. And I was looking at holidays to Bulgaria, funnily enough. Exactly. Well, what's a golden ticket for? We're in a holiday. Oh, no. So the country of this box? Yeah, I'll have a go at that. Are you serious? Yeah, we'll hang on to that. Um, right, okay, so, get, it's, no, it's saying win a holiday. It's like a prize draw. It's uh, not saying we've won a I holiday. Know. I'm, I'm going to enter it. Oh, I might look at them. Hurry Ooh. up. Ooh, what? This has changed. They're not little anymore. Oh, they've improved they've the book. Got more well pages. done. Nicely done. Hurry up, babes, because I, I really I want to try these. Okay. I've got munchies. Not in a wacky baggy kind of way, I've just I'm just peckish. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm that. These are, uh, are I have no idea what that says. Right, I'm all over it. But I've got more pages to clean out. I know. Miss, are they missed the They look I don't know what they are. Um, no, they don't know they? I'm working on it, bear with me. They look like cream cheese and chives, wafers or something like that. I don't know. I got them <coughs> cream and dill. Dill? Puffy corn snacks made with a combination of naturally high quality corn as a base, mixed with a soft taste of cream, enriched with a fresh aroma of dill. They're a beloved choice throughout Bulgaria. I like the idea of it. Yeah, and I, I, I'm happy. So they're going to get open straight away. There you go. There you go. I've not decided if I like them yet. Very light. They're, they're very good, aren't they? I don't know what very they are. Very light, very nice. They are very light, very nice. Um, here we go. What we got here? We got Chino. I'm not sure what they are. Susie, Susie will have to help me out. Yeah. Are you sure? Chio, it says Chino, Chio Crentinelli, Chino. something or other. Chio. 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 Copyright, then. Copyright. Oh, these lightly <laughs> salted, crunchy potato pallets are a favourite snack for everyone. Made with real potatoes, they have a light, nary texture that is sure to please any palate. I wish you'd have opened that. Real potatoes. Woof. Mm. Yeah, no, these are really nice, actually. The, the aftertaste they leave in your mouth are absolutely good. awesome. Mm. Gives you all the ingredients as well. Uh, oh, they actually May really contain nice. traces of gluten, soy and mustard. I don't get that. But um, anyway, we're going to go for the drink next because I need to drink. Oh, I don't know. Looks like a urine sample. Is it Derby, Derby Etar? Etar drink. Yeah. A uh, popular flavour in Eastern Europe, particularly in Moldova and Bulgaria, made from Emma wheat, this carbonated soft drink offers a unique taste experience which re re resembles honey and caramel. It's kind of up your street, honey and caramel. Oh, I don't know. Did, did, did it say wheat drink? Uh, do, do, do. Just taste it. Don't think about wheat. You made me drink vodka that was made from cheese. It's not disgusting. I don't want to taste it. It tastes a bit like, it tastes like feet. Mm. We'll put that aside. Right, we've got a cake. It's the Marquis Milfrey. Marquis. All right, whatever. All right, but it says Milf. 
Oh. I don't know. Is that an acronym for something? Uh, <laughs> Le Marquis Milfi. Milfi. It's a cocoa honey cake filled with luscious cocoa cream and enveloped in a rich chocolate coating. So it's a cake. It's a Milfi cake with a cream pie. Yeah, yeah. it says yeah. it's got a, a rich chocolate coating. That does not, it does not look like there's a coating on there, does it? But it might well have. It's not exactly light. <laughs> Right, okay, what's this? We've got a box of something. Has, uh, oh, I can't, honestly, but they're cherry. Oh, God, they would be, wouldn't they? I love cherries. They're biscuits. They're Nazlardki cookies. Cookies, a perfect blend of sweetness and crunchiness, filled with real fruit jam and wrapped in a melted butter biscuit. They are a real bite of pleasure. Okay. That is with them, cherries. Can you, can you see that picture? Yeah, that's them. It's them. Yeah, that's the one. That's that picture. Look. It doesn't say cherries, but it's it got says pictures jam. of cherries. Look. Oh, it might have different fruits in there, but anyway. Mm. Right, we've got. Um, who are they? Chinomarets wafer. I'm not sure. It's got a monkey on the front. Ah, monkey yeah, in a tree. Did. I saw that one. I did. There's a lot in it today. Uh, it's called a Borovets monkey cake. It's a whimsical, soft monkey-shaped cupcake filled with decadent banana. You like banana? Flavored cream. Indulge in this delightful treat for a fun and flavorful experience. These are addictive. Yeah. Right. Okay. I got a feeling these are ketchup flavored. Kubechi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look like um, croutons. The bread cubes infused with del delicious flavour of ketchup. A crunchy and satisfying snack for any occasion. Should you be speaking with your mouth full? No. In that case, leave my crisp. <laughs> mm. Right, we've got a chocolate orange thing called mud. Don't worry about that. There you go. Oh, that looks lovely. It does. It looks, um... Mirage cake bar cream and orange. Is that right? Where does is? that say Mirage? It says Moop. Yeah, it's the one. All right. Intensely flavorful cocoa coated cake bar with a rich cream fill and infused with sweet notes of orange blossoms throughout. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's going to be you. All right, let's go for this, whatever this is. This is Mr. Sticks Potato Snacks, barbecue flavor. Barbecue flavor. No yeah, explanation needed. Exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> Chipsticks. Made from real potato. I like chipsticks. Yeah, we haven't had chipsticks no. since we were children. Mm. Since we were kids. Here we go, we've got um, what looks like a cocoa pop thing. I don't know. Okay, ah, it's a Linzor Desire with cocoa cream. Soft cocoa honey cake. Do you know what? This is so much easier to read. It's a cake. A soft cocoa honey cake. They like their cakes. Cake lins are filled with luscious cocoa cream and enveloped in a rich chocolate coating. Play it. Basically. All right. Milk is. It's a, it's a biscuit, milk and coconut cake. A biscuit, something. I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. The only time I like, like coconut is when it's, it's in a Thai the, meal. Not the wafer one. No, no it's a milk is. M A L K I S S. Just bear with me. I wonder what mill is, because we've had a couple of mills. Yeah. Irresistible delicious coconut cake crafted from a time on the recipe. Features three layers of soft cocoa cake separated by creamy milk filling and topped with shredded coconut. The only coconut is on the top, so shredded. I hate that. desiccated coconut. Yeah. It's not bad in something like that. Yeah. I think this is a caramel coated wafer. I saw that. <laughs> Because I can read that. There's yeah. a clue on the side there. But yeah. Uh, I've lost it now. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Veloco it's a uh, cap and mia. Velocovi caramel wafer. Multiple layers of crispy thin wafers generously filled with smooth and sweet caramel between each layer. Topped off with a rich chocolate coat and it creates a heavenly fusion of textures and flavours. <laughs> Hands out waiting for that one. Ice cream! I never saw that as well. I saw the picture of that when you showed me the book. Uh, it's a puffy corn snack made with a combination of... Oh, no, it's a different one. 
A crunchy wafer cone filled with either either rich cocoa or vanilla cream. Which one have you got? Chocolate. Your cocoa, yes. And coated in smooth cocoa, creating a heavenly combination of textures and flavours. A delightful treat that perfectly mimics the, the classic frozen dessert experience. Yeah, so it's 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 a cold, it's a warm cornetto. Mm. Ugh, feet. Ugh. Right, okay, we got. Um, I have no idea what this is. Lemon and, and nut cake, peanut mm. cake. Is um, it a Maritz wafer? Uh, yeah, it's a wafer. Yeah. Oh, it's... Rediscover childhood nostalgia with this classic Bulgarian wafer dessert. Enjoy perfectly crispy wafer layers, harmonised with rich nutty cream and zesty orange peels. Oh my God, that's mine. All generously coated with a, a top layer of peanuts. Yeah, it does look delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I might have a yeah, go at that yeah. myself. Maybe we can cut that one in half. Right, okay. So we've got boiled sweets, which will sit in, in, the, in the cupboard forever because we don't eat boiled sweets. Mainly because we're old. Mm. And if we try and bite them. Violet candies. Oh. Bulgarian hard candies with a specific amount of licorice, anise, violet flavour. Ooh. Isn't that like them? Yeah, might be alright. Right, penny penny buka kaka. Ka. Oh. Penny buaka. Oh. Penny buaka. It's some kind of penny buaka. chocolate bar. It's a Bulgarian chocolate that comes with a luscious core of cocoa nougat cream, all envel enveloped in a rich milk chocolate. They like the word enveloped. A nougat cream. You'd like that. I like these. I know. They're insanely good. I wasn't that keen at the first bite, but they're just amazing. All right, Medo, Med, oh God, here we go. Medo Vinca, honey cake. I haven't seen that. Just bear with me. Okay, it's a honey cake. Yeah, it's. Not on there. Ah, it's, it's, they thought, ah, we're free. No, just leave it to one side, that's fine. All right, we'll give it to Andy because he's, he's like a loyal customer. He doesn't say too many bad things about us at all. Choco, it's another peanut chocolate thing, wafer. They like a wafer, don't they? Yeah, that is, oh, I've got some nice recipes in there as well. Sorry, Choco. <laughs> You're still looking for that thing? He's a bit distracted, were you? Yeah, it's a recipe. Uh, Choco. It's a Spoko, S-P-O-K-O. Indulge in a delightful treat featuring perfectly crispy wafer layers. <laughs> they like wafers as well. With a, nut, uh, a rich nutty cream topped with crunchy peanuts and decadent chocolate cone. Like the idea of that as well. Tell you what, you don't want to go to Bulgaria with a peanut allergy, do you? Because look what's coming out of here. Detalina's roasted nuts. They, it's a shame because they're, they're a bit battered, mm -hmm. these, and I do like coated nuts. Ah, it's a silly thing. They get oh, yeah, I'll eat them. eat them anyway. These roasted peanuts, high in fibre with, with a deliciously crunchy coating, are a staple of Bulgarian gatherings, ideal for pairing with beer and other alcoholic beverages. <laughs> Excuse to get drunk just to try the nuts. Yeah. I like that. Right, two things left. Well, three things, but two. More wafers, it's called a black and white. It's called Maipa. All right, See, now you're confused because there's too many pages. Never satisfied. I'm not the actual thing, <laughs> that other one. And Maipa, I've got it. I haven't got, I really haven't. That round thing is in me. Yeah, that's right. That's a delicious crispy wafer bar consists of cocoa wafer crusts sandwiched together with a fine milk filling. There you go. That's my pa. That is. That's my All up yours. Right, I've got two two little hard sweets. They're called Kruts. Kruts, Kruts. Kruts, Kruts. Candies with a delicious peanut filling, bringing the taste of tradition that's delighted generations. Prefer, prepare for a melt-in-your-mouth experience that is simply irresistible. We used to get boiled sweets when we were kids that had peanuts in the middle. Weren't they, yeah. weren't they shaped like peanuts? Yeah, they were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But... You don't see any of that stuff nowadays. No, Probably because it's ultra, 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 ultra processed. And I still that. All right, well, it was a honey cake. Okay, honey so cake, 25 quid because it went up a pound, um, which I thought I was paying anyway. Um, absolutely brilliant.
Bulgarian beef stew. She's got recipes. Shall, shall I show you this little book? Come and on. there's a rice pudding recipe. No, let me show people well. this, the, the, recipe, the, the book. So you get a little book that says Bulgaria. Snack bars, etc. Now, inside is a little bit, a few facts about Bulgaria. Like, for example, um, situated at crossroads between Europe, Asia, Bulgaria has been influenced by various cultures, including Greek, Roman, Ottoman, and Slavic. Uh, traditional folk music and dance, Bulgarian folk music and dance are vibrant and energetic, char characterised by a complex rhythms and intricate footwork. The horo, a traditional Belgian dance, is often performed at celebrations and festivals. There you go. And then it tells you all about the different snacks that are in, in the book. In the box, rather. They give you an, ex uh, an extra one. That's why she took ages, because uh, there was a lot of pages today. And then... Savory sweets recipes, um, Bulgarian beef stew, full recipe, complete breakdown. That looks delicious. Doesn't look bad at all, does it? Um, rice pudding. No. Nah, never liked rice pudding. Mm -hmm. And tips and trips for travelling around Bulgaria, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah. And there's even more. There's jokes. Oh, Bulgarian humour. What do you call it when a Bulgarian uses vulgar language? Uses what? Vulgar language. I don't know. A vulgarity. Mm. Yeah, right. What do you call a, a Bulgarian who is a master of disguise? I don't know. A Sophia sophisticated spy. Oh, star. <laughs> <laughs> the worst dad jokes ever. Yeah. No, that's no, that's that's no. No, no, they're um, not very good. And there's a culture quiz there, and in the back there's a, a word scramble. A word scramble. And, and a crossword. Is it a crossword? It's yeah, a it's crossword. a crossword. Yes. So that's it. That's Snackverse Thank for June. On the 1st of June. You can't get better than that, can you, really? It's the 4th of June. It was the 1st of June when it was delivered, and no. that's what I'm trying to emphasise. Now, I've just got to tell you that, that I pay them. They don't pay me. They, they don't even message me or anything. They don't know I exist. Which is good, because I've not always been kind. Um, but this one was a winner. You open that box of bag as well. Oh, I had to. What do you like? That's the sticks. Oh, they're so the nice. <laughs> These barbecue sticks. So good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like button. Or subscribe. Help, us, help, help a creator out, my creator. 500 not. odd. You get me. Yeah, I'm getting there. It's only been two years. Anyway, something. thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.